I committed to Stanford my junior year, which was the spring of 2015. And that fall, the team went on to win the national championship. And I just remember watching the semifinal and the final at home on my couch with my dad and just realizing in that moment uh, the amazing experience that I was about to get myself into and just being so excited and a little nervous, but just so grateful for the opportunity that was ahead of me. My dad was born and raised in Chelsea, London, um, and was a diehard fan since he was born. So the game was introduced to me at a very young age, and I have a brother who's four years older than me, so my first memories of the game were just playing with them. Since I was five years old, I've always been on a team, and I haven't known any better than to, to not be on a soccer team, a travel team, or an academy. I was lucky enough to get an opportunity pretty early into the season, and I remember my first game just not really knowing what to expect, but just wanting to go out there and have fun. But the rest of that season was just a whirlwind and making it all the way to the national championship and then winning in dramatic fashion against Wake Forest was something I never could have imagined. I think a really special part of this program is how we operate on a meritocracy and how no person is bigger than the program and the internal competition that we've had all four years um, is what's made us so strong as a unit. I think being a student athlete at such a prestigious university and program like this has taught me so many valuable things. The power of time management, how to think clearly, how to set out what I want to do, and then go and do it. There's a class called public speaking that I took my sophomore year with a bunch of guys on the team. And we actually had two guys who were TAing the class. And it just taught me how to do something like this, how to stand in front of a camera or stand in front of people and just express myself and not have to read from cards and not necessarily have to have a big slideshow, but just to have good posture, good body language, speak clearly, and it really helped me. When we talk about leaving your legacy, I think of that as more of a team thing. And I don't necessarily hope to leave any individual legacy but just the teams that I've been a part of and been able to contribute to. I don't take three Pac-12 titles, two national championships, one Elite Eight run for granted. I think we've set a really high standard for the program and hopefully future generations can live up to that. But I know that that's not gonna happen every year and I'm just grateful to be a part of something that special.